And uh, just, you know, and I, I think I put up on just enjoying the simple things of life. You know, just sitting there with peace. Um, you know, the Bible and Proverbs sort of mentions it a number of times in different ways, but it's better, well, my paraphrase, it's better to have a little and with, with peace than to have a lot with discord and trouble. That's my, that's my proverb. <laughs> but it's true, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, the people that have got all these, you know, lots of money to spend on this and that and the other and all the fame and fortune, and yet they can still end up taking their own life, as we have seen time and time again over, well, obviously just recent times, you know, over the years that we've been alive and fame and fortune that, you know, we think, oh, if we had their, their finances and their money, we could do whatever we want. But obviously it doesn't satisfy something inside them. And I thank the Lord that for the little that I have, with con- yeah, it was a godliness with contentment is great gain. Is that a Bible verse or just a saying? Yeah, it is. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good saying, yeah. Praise the Lord. Well, I'll just read through Psalm 136 because today is our uh, Thanksgiving um, focus. And uh, one of the things I do wish that we would adopt here. But uh, anyway, give thanks to the Lord for he is good. His love endures forever. Give thanks to the God of gods. His love endures forever. Give thanks to the Lord of lords. To him who alone does great wonders. Who by his understanding made the heavens. Who spread out the earth upon the waters. Who made the great lights. The sun to govern the day. The moon and stars to govern the night. To him who struck down the firstborn of Egypt. And brought Israel out from among them with a mighty hand and outstretched arm. To him who divided the Red Sea asunder and brought Israel through the midst of it, but swept Pharaoh and his army into the Red Sea. To him who led the people through the wilderness. To him who struck down kings and killed mighty kings. Sihon, or Sihon, king of the Amorites, and Og, king of Bashan gave their land as an inheritance. This is interesting. See, this is confirming that he gave land to the Israelites, uh, to the Jews. The Israelites said, and gave their lands as an inheritance, an inheritance to his servant Israel. He remembered us in our low estate and freed us from our enemies. He gives food to every creature. Give thanks to the God of heaven. His love endures forever. Amen. Praise God. So that's what we're doing here today. We're taking these few moments out of our busy weeks to just put aside all that is on our plate and all the things that are on our mind. And we are focusing on giving thanks to the Lord for all that he does for us. And even the fact that his love does endure forever. It's good to just take time to reflect on those words. Because oftentimes we get used to these words and we sort of say them, but we can almost gloss over them. But his love endures forever. Forever. I mean, you can, you can have a whole sermon just on that one sentence. So today, Lord, we just start this meeting with a heart and a, of gratitude and thanks to you. And uh, we just pray that your presence yourself with us as we give you our praise. And sometimes it's a sacrifice of praise and worship because perhaps we are not really feeling like we can. But Lord, it doesn't depend on our feelings. It depends on our attitude of heart. So, Lord, I give myself to you today, and I just uh, come into your sanctuary, and thank you that because of your love I can do that. May everybody that uh, listens and, and to this today, and all who are gathered here right now, receive something from you today, in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thanks, Sam. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I thought, uh, seeing as how we're getting close to now Christmas, I thought, well, let's, let's start off with the, the Christmas carol. This is kind of a modern Christmas carol done by Chris Tomlin called Emmanuel Hallowed Manger Ground. And uh, I hope you'll enjoy it.
Father, we thank you, Lord, for coming to this earth to be our salvation, to be our hope. We thank you so much.
there's something wonderful that happens well, for me and I trust it is also for you when we worship it's like I go through this in, invisible veil from the natural world into the spiritual realm and uh, it just puts me in a different place I just feel free I feel part of me that would wants to just be free to worship the Lord and, and dance before him and just be free to worship in the way that my soul longs to do at times my physical body uh, is not able to do that but in this spiritual realm that we uh, we know that is there the world can't see it because they don't understand it and they don't want to understand it but we know it and understand it and when we worship the Lord just we go through it's like a time warp almost you see it on some sci-fi movies where they walk through like a portal and they're into another realm and uh, that's what I feel happens when we get together and worship the collective worship just almost creates like a vortex as it were that takes us into that spiritual realm and that world that we are limited from being able to see. But all the joy that awaits us in that realm, the freedom, the healing, the refreshing, the reviving. Hallelujah. Receive it from, from the Father today. In the name of Jesus, we receive all the promises of God that are written in the Word of God for us. Receive it today, my friends. Dare to stretch your faith. Dare to believe that He can heal. Hallelujah. That He can restore. that I experience when we come together and just worship just spend time in your presence and just be free to be able to be who we are in you not have to apologize not have to try and explain or being fear of being ridiculed or persecuted thank you Lord we still live in a country that allows us to gather together as saints of God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your many blessings. Thank you for the things you do for us that we don't even see. The things that at times we can take for granted, not meaning to, but because we are just human and going about our life. But the fact that we breathe every second of the day every breath that we take is a gift from you Father and so Lord with the breath that is in me I give back to you glory and praise hallelujah every breath that I take breathe in and breathe out you are our oxygen Hallelujah, naturally and spiritually. I pray for everyone in this room right now. Touch them, Lord, wherever they are at. Your mind is fractured by lots of thoughts or concerns. Just lay your hand upon their head and steady them and bring peace and clarity to their thinking and to their thoughts, to the heart, to their emotions. In Jesus' name, put on every stronghold that will try to set itself up in our thoughts, in our emotions, in our body. We 
pull it down in Jesus' name. We take authority over it. In the blood of Jesus, the word of our testimony. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. wonderful name. It's good to spend time in his presence, isn't it? Amen. There's definitely something unique when we get together. I can have times of refreshing at home, and I know that when we get together, there's just a whole new dimension to it, and I appreciate it. It helps me, helps me week by week to keep going, and see why Paul encouraged, you know, the believers to um, not avoid getting together and uh, encourage one another daily because we need it because we get hammered from all directions so when we're together we can just be ourselves and be free to love the Lord the way that we want to and to encourage one another and to just walk with each other through the valleys through the good and the hard times joy and, and have joy with each other, celebrate the, the good things and hold one another uh, when life gets tough. So praise you Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Lord, in Jesus' name, we just lift these needs to you right now. Pray for Josh that you will be with him at home and that Lord, you'll protect him and keep him safe. We pray for Bronwyn, Lord, Shirley's sister, that you will be with her uh, and just touch her and may she come through this, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Give her good specialists and doctors and people to take care of her. And Lord, we pray for dear Chloe, that you will touch her. We know what it's like, Lord, to go through these challenges. Even when we know you, Lord, it doesn't mean that we, uh, we are free of the challenges of living in this, this side of heaven. So I pray for this dear girl right now, that you'll minister to her and that she will have an encounter with you, a fresh encounter, that she will press into you in a new way, Lord, because I know that you're the only one that can give her the hope and the sustaining strength to cope with just life on this planet, Lord. Pray right now that you'll just deliver her from these thoughts of suicide and the depression that she's feeling in the name of Jesus. We also thank you, Lord, for the breakthrough in the family relationship with uh, Rebecca. And we just pray, Lord, that when, uh, when um, Leslie and her get together tomorrow, that they'll have an absolutely beautiful time in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Amen, amen, amen. All right, what else? Um, this Wednesday, we've got Bible study here. That'll be the second last one. And then I think the next fortnight after that, I think that's our kind of like break up one, which we decided, is that right? We've got, yeah, yeah, Kurong. Yeah, I was just trying to look at my calendar in my head. So we'll do that at Kurong. And then on the, that, then that following Sunday will be our last one. And we will have a bit of a break over, over the Christmas, um, you know, which will sort of give uh, all of us and, me, and myself um, included just a bit of a breather, just to sort of um, take time to wait on the Lord and just work through uh, everything. And um, so we're probably looking at taking a few weeks um, break in January and 
Um, we may not be able to keep using this because the cost is just getting more than we can cope with. So um, I'm looking at just opening my home on the Sunday afternoon for anybody who wants to come and we'll just do similar, just whoever can fit into my little, my little room, you're welcome to come and we'll just worship the Lord and just have a good time, um, you know, of worship and just encouraging one another. Whoever wants to come, the boys and I will be there. And so that's probably how we're looking at, at heading forward next year. But God does a miracle and provides the finances for us to keep using this and praise the Lord. But um, at the moment, we're sort of looking at probably going that way next year. So just to give you a heads up of where, where things are going. And um, praise the Lord. All right. Uh, offering. Um, I know you. most of you give online, but if anybody has cash that they want to donate, then... Um, Give to us, give to the work of the Lord, then it's always, um, always appreciated. And even though, you know, well, at the moment it goes to sort of, most of it goes towards being able to use this hall. But there's always, unfortunately, um, administrative sort of bits and pieces that the government will require of you that, you know, you still have to pay to be a viable going concern as a church and stuff. So that's where, you know, the money kind of gets used. Um, and then where we can, um, you know, we give to, we've given to different um, organisations over the years. Uh, probably haven't done it quite so much this year, but where we can, we do. And um, so, whatever you give, we look at and sort of say, okay, where is where is a ministry that we can invest in for the kingdom of God? So praise the Lord. All right. Well, um, so we're recording this. And we're going to put it up later. So I'm just saying to what we're going to do now is have a bit a little break and uh, Sam and the boys are just going to set up whatever it is that they were doing before so we're going to watch a, a, a sort of a, a part of one of Bill Johnson's um, sermons and it's particularly focusing on this aspect of um, memorials that God sets in place for us to remind us of the good things that he's done for us it's a really good and then at the end of that we'll turn that off and then we'll just have our, a little bit of a fellowship thing and just share whoever wants to um, it's good for you if you can. I know a lot of you don't sort of like to do that, but it won't be on, won't be recorded or anything. But for your benefit, um, it's good to sort of think, okay, what is there in my life? What memory do I have? Because that might be a place that you've lived in or um, the newsletter that you've got. And, and for you, Trish, again, I often think every time you come in here, you must probably think back, I would imagine. Yeah, you know. I think that's what Yes, that's right, yeah. And it's good, and it's good that it has that kind of emotional tug. And I know that the other side of that is that people can get, um, make things an idol, and that's not good either. You know, like people won't ever lose it and move out of a certain house, for example, because this is where this happened and the other happened. That really, to me, is, um, that's extreme, and that's kind of idol worship. This is not designed to be idol worship. It's designed to be a memory jogger. And God set it in place. He told the, uh, the Egyptians, the Israelites, to do it. And so I think it's a good thing for us to uh, to do um, as a reminder, and it's good to share with one another because then it builds our faith and it builds their faith. So we'll have a bit of a break, and the boys will set up the. Uh, so we're going to watch either there or there. So if you wanted to turn the chairs around or sit in another chair, just do whatever you need to get comfortable. And uh, so I'll get Jason. So we'll go say goodbye to our online family, whoever's watching. See you later. <laughs> God bless.